Okay, Donovan, on your feet. Right. Get your hands on that wall. All right, you got the wrong idea. Yeah. Just run. You want to tell us what you're doing here? I'm standing over a dead body seconds before the cops arrive. That's the way it always goes down. Yeah, right. Hughes. Yeah, I need a squad car and someone from the coroner's office here. This guy's name is Stanley. He works for Spangler. He was about to work for the FBI before you got to him. Agent Brackett got a call from this Stanley. Said he wanted to set up a meet. Said he could help us track down Lily and Rose. Oh, that's funny. I got the same call. Now, only you got here first. What do you think that means? I'll tell you what I think it means. I think you got here first. Only Stanley was still alive. And before he drew his last breath, he named a shooter. What do you think, Dusty? I think James Stenbeck's a man. I think he wants me to pay for his son's death. Always somebody else's fault. You're the FBI, right? Why don't you do whatever you gotta do to make Stenbeck talk? That's what you guys are good at, isn't it? I'm gonna let my boys in the home office respond in person. I'm taking this prisoner to D.C. with me tonight. Oh, the hell you are. You are not taking my only link to finding Lily and Rose. I have got a kidnapping to solve here. I'm sorry, Detective, but the Bureau has jurisdiction in this case. That is just bull. There's no way an interrogation takes precedence over bringing two missing women home alive. I don't want to quibble. I'm not quibbling about it either. Listen, I only need just a few hours to find Lily and Rose. Bag his personal effects. Just, just, just hear me out here. And you, you, you make a move. I'll tell him to shoot you. But we're both looking for the same thing here to solve this case. Do you work with me? I work with you. We both get what we want, right? This brings the death toll. What do you got there? And I don't Walkie talkie you, looks like. I don't like it when the kidnappers are, are going to Makes the morning. Makes you wonder who's got the, the other one, huh? They're still out there. I mean, who knows if they're still alive? Who knows if they, that Lily and Rose are getting food or water or anything of that sort? Will you please, please, the, the trail to these women is ice cold. Just give me Donovan. Maybe he can help me flush out someone who can lead us there. I don't know. I do. I know these women. I know their family. I know their friends. I am their friend. Lily's kids, they're, they're like they're like part of my lives. I will not let these women die. I just need a few days with Donovan. All right, look, I'll call the FBI. I'm not promising anything. You hold on to that prisoner. I'll meet you back at the station in a few hours. Margo, you know I didn't kill this guy, right? Oh, yeah, do it. Why don't you let me check out where he was staying? We have police officers that do that, Dusty. Why don't you let me go with him? No, not this time. Not this time, huh? Mm -mm. Well, who's going to stop you? That guy right there is going to stop you. Tries anything. Shoot him in the foot. I don't know why I'm surprised to see you here. I ran into some complications after we saw Stembeck. Really? What kind of complications? The kind that involve a dead body and an FBI agent? Did Brackett track down Spangler's hitman? Well, that'd be the dead body. The only man who could tell us where Lillian Rose are is dead. Thanks to you. It's a classic setup, isn't it? I mean, Stenbeck makes sure that I'm the first one on the scene. And then he has some guy write my name right next to Stanley's dead body. Margo, do you not have enough proof yet? I mean, come on. Yes, I shot him. And then I watched him scrawl my name in perfect block print while he's breathing his last breath. And then I stay on the scene and wait for the cops and the FBI to incriminate me. Interesting. Well, did he say anything, though, before he died? Was there any other evidence? A walkie-talkie. And I bet whoever's got the other one has Lily and Rose. Please don't touch. This is still evidence. That's your last link to those girls. Barbara, you said that Stenbeck kept using the word deep, right? But I didn't think it meant anything. He told Barbara that people need to look deeply in order to find what they're searching for. He also said something about a, a cavern and an underground spring. But I don't think he was speaking literally. He was talking about the deep caverns of his heart. Yeah, but if he keeps using those same references, they have to mean something. Okay, caverns, underground springs, deep meanings. We're looking for what, a cave? Can you get your hands on a map, a surveyor's map of the county? Yeah, I'll see what I can come up with. I think I know what we're looking for. So 
we're looking for a cavern or a cave or some kind of mine shaft or something. Well, anything hidden, anything underground. Yeah, I gotta tell you, though, with all the fields and forests in this area, something like that, it could be anywhere within an hour's drive in any direction. That's okay. I'll check every one if I have to. You gonna do this on your own? No, I, I would certainly... I would love to have some help. Well, I'll set up a search party at daybreak. No, tomorrow's too late. I can't wait that long. You're gonna go out in the dark on your own. Unless you want to give me that walkie-talkie to bring along. I'd love to help you out, but we got to send it for forensics for see what they find out. Well, if there's nothing else that I can do. All right, I'll get a squad car to escort you back to the Lakeview. Thank you, Marco. James said that he was going to punish you. This is just the beginning. He will destroy you by degrees until there's nothing left of you. Good luck with that. Is your walkie-talkie on the same frequency as Spangler's, guys? I don't carry a walkie-talkie, and I don't work for Spangler. Yeah, 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 I've heard enough of your lies. Margo, do you mind if I keep this map? Yeah, go ahead. Good luck with it. Like I say, it's an awful lot of territory for one guy to cover. If you take me with you, I guarantee the search will go a lot faster. You're not going anywhere, Donovan, unless Agent Brackett changes his mind and decides to question you here in town. What are the chances of that happening? Not a snowball's chance in hell. Hope you don't mind sitting in coach. We're booked on the next flight out. Say your goodbyes, Donovan. Why does the FBI have to question me when this case is almost solved? Is that true? Yeah. Holden Snyder's got a lead on where these women might be. What kind of lead? Nothing specific. Just a hunch. No, he's onto something. And I'm gonna help him. Not this time. We don't have another time. Look, I'll uh, call you if I come up with anything, all right? Thanks, Holden. Thanks. Do you know what you're doing? Well, I'm sworn to do. Stand you up. know what, Brackett? I got a gut feeling that Donovan is not behind these abductions. Really? Well, we don't subscribe to that kind of blind faith at the Bureau. Why are we going to fly all the way to D.C. when you should be here questioning Stenbeck? Let's go. Come on. Can you do something about this? You know what, Donovan? I tried. It's out of my hands. This feels very wrong, does it? Very wrong! I'm looking for Detective Hughes. You got her. What's up? Yeah, I was out in the field. I got a message from my supervisor saying you may have a question about my credentials. Do I? What's your name? Brackett. Agent Del Brackett, FBI. Is there some sort of problem? Yeah, there is some sort of problem. Okay, guys, let's kick it. 